de kabara kata kata la garabadai. Masi kete le brike de kile garabada barabadai. It does not matter what the devil is doing this afternoon. You are taking it by force this afternoon. It does not matter the demons that are raised from hell to battle, to fight, to attack that which is rightfully yours. In the name of Jesus, rise up and take it by force. Rise up and take it by force. Rise up and take it by force. Rise up and take grace by force. Rise up and take your place in the agenda of God for by force. I know the devil doesn't like it this afternoon when he knows that you're about to take what he has stolen from you, what he has seized from you, the health he took from you, the life he took from you, the marriage he brought from you, the children he brought from you. I wish you will lift up your voice this afternoon and begin to take and begin to take how I wish you will get aggressive. There are demons from hell rising against this afternoon prayer. There are forces from hell rising against this afternoon's prayer. There are demons, there are, there are, there are demonic intelligence rising against this prayer this afternoon. They don't want you to take what is rightfully yours. They shout, I take, I take them by force. Whatever is messing up this afternoon broadcast that the people of God will not take what is rightfully theirs. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you by the blood of the covenant. I rebuke you by the glory of God. I rebuke you by the power of the spirit. Come on, open your mouth and begin to declare, I take it by force, I take it by force, I take it by force, I rebuke every demon of darkness interrupting this afternoon's prayer, trying to hinder this afternoon prayer, trying to stop me from taking it. I rebuke you by the blood. I rebuke you by the glory of God. I rebuke you by the ministry of angels. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I take it by force. I take my marriage by force. I take my ministry by force. I take my lifting by force. I take the glory of God by force. I take the grace of God by force. I take, I take, I take my prayer life by force. I take my fasting life by force. I take my evangelism life by force. I take Rakashata Rabadaya. Open your mouth and begin to declare everything that is in the will of God for my life today. I take it by force. Everything that is in the will of God for my life today. I take it by force. Everything that is the will of God for my wife. I take it by force. Everything that is in the will of God for my children. I take it by force. Everything that is the will of God for my ministry. That promotion, take it by force. That insight, take it by force. That inspiration, take it by force. That calling, take it by force. That ministry, take it by force. That increase, take it by force. That insight, take it by force. That lifting, take it by force. Rabako Shata.
Rapataka, Yakatekata, Rekatekata, Ilusota, Ilusota, Rabaku, Rakate, Equaya, Equaya, Equatakata, Ratakataya. Sega de Bosha, I retrieve my life from a frustration. I take my life back from failure. I take my life back from failure. Take my life back from the grave, from the grave. Everything that has found to bury you this year, I take your life out of that grave. Take your life out of that grave. Take your life out of the shadow of death. Take your life away from the demonic spirit of destruction. Take your children from disaster. Take your children from destruction. Take your children from death. Hey, I take it by force right now I take it by force in the name of Jesus I take it by force today I take it by force right now I take it by force in the name of Jesus hey! I take it by force I take it by force Attacking by force in the name of Jesus. I take it by force. I take it by force. I take it by force. Right now, take it by force. No more holding back. No more denial again. No more delay in my life. I am taking it now. I take my marriage. Hey! I take my children. I take my family. I take my health now. Don't be silent about it. Ask the Lord to stay up violence in your spirit. You need a measure of violence to be able to take. Taking prayer is not an intercession or supplication prayer. It's a prayer of warfare. Karato. Maseke teraka bada baraka taka tarua baka sata. Rekoko peke swata naba. Eshuta lante krato skayata. Selele shabada baya. You have been in that situation for too long. The Lord said take your deliverance. Take your release. Take your release this afternoon. Take your release.
take it now they say nobody will pay your school fees I said take your finances now you are not going away from this prayer the same way you enter this prayer somebody take your health take it now I said take it now take it now I said take it now take it now in the name of Jesus take it now take it now take it now I said take it now take it now I said take it now take it now I said take it now take it now take it now take your miracles I said take it now take your deliverance I said take it now take it now take it I am praying, I am seeing keys. I am seeing keys. I am seeing keys. Take your own access to glory. Take your own access to a new level of life. You have been sick for too long. You will be sick again from today. Take your liberty. That devil is a liar. Ah. the testimony of one of my very close friends and a sister she sent me a testimony she said early this morning I decided to pray yesterday's prayer I used it for my quiet time I was angry in the spirit and I prayed that prayer on taking power so I prayed till around five and I laid down and I saw a vision. He said, I wanted to close the window. It seemed something was kept opening the window. I would try to close it, it will open. I would try to close it, it will open. He said, suddenly I looked and I saw a man standing behind the window. And he was demanding for something. He said, I gave that thing to you. He said, he said I, told, I, I told him, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, but I gave it to your father to give to you. The sister said, I don't know what you're talking about. He kept demanding. There are spirits that are placing on you, demand on your life, that have placed you in bondage. You are taking back your freedom this afternoon. Enough is enough. If they gave anything to your ancestor, let them go to the grave and collect from your ancestor. They have no business making a demand on what they gave to your great-grandfathers on your life. If you don't take your freedom, they will keep you in bondage. There is a level of violence you need to stay up in your spirit to be able to take. For the violent take it. The Bible was careful to tell you the kind of people that take. There is a level of madness you must maintain in the spirit realm to be able to take in what is rightfully yours. If the devil did not see you as a spiritual lunatic, he will not respect your rights. There is a level of spiritual lunacy that you need. 
a level of spiritual madness you need to be able to take what is rightfully yours to be able to go into war I have never seen a man fighting when he is happy happy men don't fight it is angry men that fight you need a level of anger in your spirit haven't you been kept in that situation for too long you have prayed you have fasted you have cried men have prayed for you and nothing happened one thing is missing you have not developed the aggression and the violence to take and let me tell you if he didn't show up keep getting angry and aggressive you will get it you will lay hold on it that demon was stubborn that demon that is stubborn your violence will break it the gate that is stubborn your violence will shatter it don't be quiet the Bible says, Woe unto them that are at ease in Zion. You don't come to Zion and you are at ease. Zion is the place where men possess their possessions. The sister said, She don't and face that man. You cannot conquer what you are unwilling to violently confront. It's time to confront everything that has kept you in captivity. It's time to confront everyone, every being, every territorial spirit, every monitoring familiar spirit, every ordinance of hell, every altar of darkness that say that this life that Christ gave to you, you will not enjoy it. You will always be in anxiety and depression. Enough is enough. The sister says she got mad and began to attack and began to attack with power she has taken. He says, so, he said this was happening around 6 a.m. this morning. He says, suddenly the man shrank and shrank and became a rat and started running. He said she busted her door and came outside and carried a bucket of water there and took keys. So this demon spirit was hindering the things that belonged to her. He said she packed bunches of keys. This afternoon, you are taking the keys of your life. You are taking the keys of your health. You are taking the keys of your marriage. You are taking the keys of prosperity. You are taking the keys of increase. You are taking the keys of ascension. You are taking the keys of authority. You are taking the keys of multiplication. You are taking the keys of manifestation. You are taking the keys of honor. You are taking the keys of favor. Keys of favor. Keys of favor. Keys of favor. Keys of health. Keys of strength. Keys of sound health. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Today I take it by force. Right now I take it by force. In the name of Jesus. I take it by force. Jesus, I take it by force. Olua, I take it by force. In the name of Jesus, I'm angry with my spirit. I take it by force. No more captivity. I take it by force. I take it by force. I take it by force. Oh, I take it by force. I take my peace. I take my progress. I take my prosperity. I take my promotion whatever is in the will of God I take it by force 
in the name of Jesus let me tell you I didn't even remember that I have not welcomed you to today's prayer the king's matter demands urgency but I will not fail to welcome you to midday intercession and prophetic prayer reminding you that we are there are people to pray there is the living God to answer them let me tell you the devil knew that today is the day of takers, violent takers. I saw a woman that has been praying for us, praying with us. You have been praying with us, but your legs have been having problems. Your legs, your back, your legs have been having problems. And as you kept crying, I take it by force. I saw two angels beside you right now with new bones. They are replacing your bones right now in the name of Jesus. After this afternoon, you will stand up on your feet. It will shock them. I say it will shock them. That part of your body that has been corrupted, I tell you as you take, as you go today, it will automatically be replaced by a new one. I take it by force. Right now I take it by force. I take it by force. In the name of Jesus. I take it by force. I take it by force. I take it by force in the name of Jesus. I see a vision right now, a vision. The vision I saw is that there is something that looks like a, a river, but it's a wall. And this woman is standing on this side. And every time God sends the fruit of the womb to this woman, that thing that looked like the river will swallow them. And the woman will get pregnant and will not deliver. The baby will either be aborted or disappeared or something. And as I look, there's something that looked like a sharp sword that cut that thing and the river flowed out. And all your children they have kept, you began to gather them in your hands. I saw five children in your hands. And hear, me, hear ye the word of the Lord. This month you will take in. And in the next five to eight years, you will deliver five beautiful children, three boys and two girls. Receive and take in the name of Jesus. As I'm praying, I see something that looks like a heart. On this side is a red heart. On this side is a black heart. Your heart is supposed to be fresh and red, but the enemy removed it and put it on this side and gave you a painful, painful heart. But I had a voice say, tell him to remove it and take the heart. May the new heart God has in store for you be released to you as you take it. Receive a new heart in the name of Jesus. Someone has been having movement on the back of your head and your neck. You're having constant movement. The thing moves like an insect. Sometimes you hit it. But it moves, it moves towards your head. It goes back. You don't know people have prayed for you. That demonic entity projected to you in the dreams of the night that has been troubling you. It dies right now and you take your freedom in the name of Jesus. Shadaka Barataya. Seketara Baragada. Sadia. 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 As I am praying right now, I am seeing something that looks like this hunger's loose. And I saw people hang there. Young people. And the Spirit said, that's a family. 
they don't live to a certain stage certain age and they will die suddenly as if they were hanged and I look I see the hanger stretched with ropes without anybody hanging he said these are what the enemy built to hang members of that family that they will not be able to fulfill the number of their days the Lord said you will take fire and release to that very storehouse of evil and it will burn down those hangers news and melt all of them nobody will die untimely in your family again in the name of Jesus take your liberty take your life whatever is in the will of God for you today The Lord said there is somebody watching me. Nobody has ever favored you. You are struggling and you are always in pain. Nobody has ever favored you. The Lord said today, I saw something that looked like a bucket. Very massive bucket. And it's been poured upon the heads of people, not one person. He said, I will wash away your stench. And I will put a fragrance upon you. That people you don't know will be attracted to you from today. Take it in the name of Jesus. Today, people will favor you from today. People will send money to your account. People will assist you. Help us we turn to you from everywhere. Today, what is the focus of today's prayer? I take whatever is in the purpose of God for me. Romans Romans chapter number 8 and we close hey, I take it by force yes I take it by force do you take it by force come on and take it by force Join me and take it by force. Follow me and take it by force. Let's take it by force. Let's take it by force. Let's take it by force. Tonight, I want to announce to somebody, you will enter the dream world with some level of madness. And you will deal with entities in a way they have never, you will burn with fire. You will kill with sword. You will shoot with gun. You will bomb. You will send lightning. You will release thunder. You will be too aggressive that everything they took from you, you will recover. Suddenly, that sickness is over. Suddenly, that poverty is ending. You have taken me by force. You have taken it by force. I took 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 it by force. Today, everything you have taken, in the next one month, you will see strange manifestation of supernatural realities in your life in the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. Notice. If you are one of those called in the will of God, every believer saved in Christ is called according to the purpose of God. And in the purpose of God are the packages of realities. In the purpose of God, are the packages of his realities. And in that purpose, the Bible says, all things work together for your good. 
So today you are, you, we are rejecting anything that works for evil, that works for bad, that is negative. I refuse to accept anything that is not good. Why? Let me show you from James. James chapter 1. Verse 17. Every good and every perfect gift is from above. And cometh down. <laughs> Notice he said it comes down. But do you know? As it's coming down, there are spirits that are fighting that it doesn't come down to you. Oh. The Bible says it cometh down. Why is it that good and perfect things are coming down from above but it doesn't reach you? It does not reach you because there are principalities and powers that don't want you to enjoy the perfect realities that are in the perfect purpose of God. If you have taken the purpose of God, you must take the perfect gift that follow the purpose. You cannot fulfill the purpose of God without the perfect gift of this purpose or in his purpose. He said they come down from above. From the father of light with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. It means once God has determined that it is for you, it doesn't vary. It doesn't change his mind. It doesn't have a shadow to turn. That means God does not have the ability to change. That's what it means. Why is it that you go for good where perfect is possible? Some people don't even go for good. They go for nothing. They do nothing. Listen. If you go for nothing, nothing comes for you. When you go for something, something comes for you. If you are docile, dormant, waiting for the thing to be delivered into your plate, the Bible said the violent take it. You see this month? Marriages will happen. Pregnancies will happen. New cars, new houses, open doors to ministry. Prayer lives will be revived. Fire will break out. Altars will be rekindled. And ancient altars will be burnt. Demonic entities will run. You need a level of violence to take what is right in yours. In Kingdom Kings Church, we do not greet good money. You know why? There is good money coming down from above, but there is perfect money coming from above. We choose the perfect over good. That's why in Kingdom Kings Church, we greet perfect money, perfect afternoon, perfect evening, perfect day. Why? I cannot go for good where perfect is possible. Good gift come down. Perfect gift come down. I won't take good. I will go for perfect. Today, you won't go for good health. Go for perfect health. Go for perfect vision. Go for perfect insight. Perfect wisdom. Perfect understanding. Because in the purpose of God are perfection. Today, there is perfect health for you, perfect wealth for you, perfect marriage for you, perfect children for you, perfect grace for you. It comes down with the purpose of God. I will close this afternoon. We have prayed, but I needed to remind you. You must maintain some level of violence in your spirit. If what you have taken will remain with you, and those who have not taken, if you still want to take them, you must maintain some level of violence for the violent take it by force. I pray for you this afternoon. 
that the Lord God Almighty, our Father, who inspired Matthew 11, verse 12, as the kingdom of God is suffering violence, the violent are taken. Today, Lord, we have taken violently and we will continue to take violently in the name of Jesus. Health is yours. Wealth is yours. Grace is yours. Open doors are yours. Your own testimony is the next we will share tomorrow. Somebody didn't hear me. Your own testimony is the next we will share tomorrow. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we sing that song one more time? I take it by force. I take it by force. I take it by force. In the name of Jesus. Sing it one more time.
showing up now in manifestations in the name of Jesus no more delays no more delays no more delays I can't be denied no more delays no more on a field that field has been dry for a long time and suddenly it began to grow and as I was watching they look like corns they are growing very fast even as I'm talking some of them started bearing flowers and bringing out corn cups and I hear the Lord say I will cause upon your life a speedy speedy results that will shock you it will shock many people around you it will be a shocking event 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That which you have taken is showing up right now. That which you have taken is showing up right now. That which you have taken is showing up now. That which you have taken is showing up. Showing up now. Showing up now. Marriage is showing up. Children are showing up. Business is manifesting at a higher level. They are showing up. I use this sound of melody. To counter every negative wave that has been operating in negative vibrations, that has been interfering with the frequency of your existence. I use this song this afternoon to counter those negative frequencies. A new melody and a new frequency and a new vibration and a new energy. Is being initiated in your environment, in the environment of your life. That which you have taken is showing up right That which you have taken is showing up right now. Which you have taken is showing. Right now, which you have taken, showing up right now. No more delays, no more delays, no more delays. Can we say now? No more delays, no more delays. No more delays. No more delays. As we close this afternoon, hear this word of prophecy. And that which you wait for to happen in a year's time will happen in the next moment. I will cause that which you think will come to pass in your future to come to pass in your very eyes before the end of this month and I will speed it up and it will happen before the appointed time Father we thank we give you all the glories and all the praises blessed be your name ancient of days we glorify in Jesus name Amen remember that tomorrow afternoon by 12 midday Central African time, 12 noon. We are taking our possessions, our positions, our, our placement, our, our prosperities, our prominence, our presence. You can no longer be like a dead man in the land of the living where nobody knows you. There's something about presence. We take all of them as we climb Mount Zion tomorrow. We will climb Mount Zion tomorrow. We are the sons of Jacob possess their possessions. Remember that tomorrow evening we are having moments of real encounter more on radio. Moment of real encounter comes up 5 30 p.m. Central African time. On Voice 89.9 FM. And it comes up every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. You can join us on Facebook Live. Or join us via the app of that radio station. Or join us through the radio station. 
Remember also on Thursdays by 5 p.m. We gather at Kingdom Kings Church. And this week, we are continuing on the force of freedom. Taking your freedom by force. And I tell you, God will release his glory in a massive way. Saints of God, we have come to the end of today's prayer. I wish to remind you that where there are people to pray, there is still the living God to answer them. God bless you. I will also want our brother to continue to sing that song on Take It By Force. God bless you. See you. Oh,